Hello and welcome to Adulting Without Supervision. As you can see, we are on my work break again, running through a bunch of topics as fast as possible because the winter weather did me dirty again. Like last time, we will be going through my hot takes on a situation based solely on my exposure to the subject so far. There will be nuance missed, and you are welcome to correct me in the comments. That's right, come at me with your facts and logic. Honestly, I welcome anybody who's smarter than me to make further comments on these subjects. With that out of the way, let's get started. NZXT H1 Fire and Recall. This should have never taken this long to fix correctly. It was catching on fire. It's not that hard to see how that could end terribly. But they did finally do the right thing, but only after they were confronted by the community, especially Steve from Gamers Nexus. Get it together, NZXT. I normally love your product, but what the f Number two, Google and renewed privacy concerns. They removed do not be evil from their mission statement a while ago. None of these new concerns surprise me. I would suggest switching to alternatives, but the companies that run those are pretty sketch too. Yes, that includes you, Microsoft. Number three, AMD wants USA Fab. If this is true, I think it's a great idea. With any business, it's incredibly risky to have a single point of failure or to have too many aspects in one place. Natural disasters alone should have every company at least putting a token effort into moving some manufacturing a minimum of 500 miles apart from each other. Number four, Elon Musk Starlink. I'm honestly, hopefully optimistic. It seems to be really impressive tech, but I've been let down before. Worst case, it at least will put some pressure on current providers to suck less, even if just a little. Number five, electric vehicles. The supply chain for EVs needs to be reinforced. Since COVID, I've not seen one for sale anywhere but Tesla, and I've been car shopping. While I like Tesla, a lack of competition, even in the short term, will hurt the whole market. But maybe it's just the shops near me, but this is still a worrying sign. Number six, internal combustion engine vehicles versus electrical vehicles, or ICE versus EV. ICE vehicles will need to step up on mile per gallon because EVs only have to get supply chain under control to start really disrupting the market. In fact, it has already started. So if ICE is to have a future outside of enthusiast circles and certain enterprise uses, it needs to get the average mile per gallon up to around 40. Lowest being 20, highs being in the 60 to 70 range. We have the ability to get this done. We just need to stop focusing on horsepower on cars that don't need it. Number seven, free tax service ads. These are scams. Even those from well-known companies, the IRS at irs.gov has free tax filing help. These ads are for the companies that lobby to make filing taxes more difficult, and they will lure you in with promises of free taxes, but salesmen talk you into paying for something that should be free and is on the government website. In fact, it would save you and the IRS money if they sent you the tax bill pre-done and you only had to file if you found a problem. But these air quotes free companies like TurboTax lobbied against that so you could pay them money for something that should be free and is causing you to get a math headache. Number eight, Cyberpunk 2077 current state. There are still plenty of bugs, but I have had fun since day one. But I've also been lucky that most of mine have been fixed with a quick load or web search. But I'm also one of those people that can enjoy something even if it needs some tinkering. It's why I like to fix cars and computers. Honestly, I only had one major issue in the game besides a lot of crashes from day one, and it was in a quest where CG CDPR forgot to tell you what control was bound to going to the next brain dance scene in a side quest. So my original score would have been around seven out of 10. Now it's seven and a half out of 10, if just we're not crashing at all the last two times I played. Frankly, it can get much higher the more they fix, but right now we're sitting at a 7.5 out of 10. Number 9, NVIDIA crypto GPUs and bad hash rates for the 3060 RTX. It's a bad deal for everyone. This won't fix this issue, but it will cause one later. Some of the best deals you can get on graphics cards are to buy secondhand from a crypto miner when the market slumps or crashes, and these mining specific cards 
won't have standard video outputs and will be useless on the secondhand market. Crippling performance artificially or locking hardware down is also something I can never get behind. It has a bad precedent for everyone, even if it would help the way NVIDIA claims, and it won't. Number 10, Google kills Stadia Game Studio. The way they killed the Stadia Game Studio was downright BS with bad cop-out excuses for it. Google, you lifted up your employees just to watch them fall further. You knew this was coming. If you couldn't say anything without making it worse, then keep your mouth shut. Number 11, underrated shows that deserve a second look. Numbers. I love the show even if it was just another police procedural. It helped show math and logic as something worthwhile in everyday life. And I think that's important, especially when so many don't like to deal with reality. Also, Babylon 5. This show was way ahead of its time when it comes to great sci-fi storytelling and character development. It also had CGI above and beyond what many shows were doing even half of a decade later. Number 12, cars that are underrated. The GeoTracker. That was a great little Tonka toy of a car. It is to this day my favorite, and it only has a little to do with the fact that it's nostalgic for being my first car and the one I learned to drive in. But that's the end of that. Those were my hot takes. Feel free to yell at me in the comments how all my opinions were wrong and trash. Remember to like and subscribe as well so you can yell at me later too. Next real video should be my foray into 3D printing, so keep an eye out for that.